Okay, this is a short lesson about uh, the song I videotaped called uh, Three Times Lightning. And you can order the tap, uh, you can see it in the sidebar. And I'm not going to explain the whole song, but just uh, highlight a few, let's say, hot spots. And the first uh, difficult phrase, I think, is in the second uh, bar, where I'll play the first bar uh, so you can hear where it goes. So we, it's that phrase, we're bending with our second finger, the eighth fret, we're pulling off and then we're sliding down with the index finger. And here, those triplets, I'm really hitting the strings hard. And we want to avoid that uh, third string rings. So I just raise my ring finger just a little bit so it touches the third string and eliminates the sound so we can really whack those two strings. Then in the descending lick notice that those three notes really stand out so I accent them. Okay, then in the second verse, where we go to the, yeah, that's a show of course, I didn't like to do those things. And you have to take care, let your middle finger help you do this bend, because the bend is more than a full tone higher, and if you use your second finger to help you with the bend, it will be much easier. Okay. And use your uh, pinky on this uh, tenth fret to help you there. And when we go to the I'm lifting every time I play the eighth and ninth fret on the second and third string. So because I wanted, uh, I don't want to, those notes to sustain. Then we're going down, and that's a real fast flick of the index and middle finger. And it helps when you're sliding to the fourth fret, and then you have to play. If you in your mind think about the second string, third fret, if you think about that note, it will help you play it. Strange, but it works for me. Okay, then at uh, the end of that uh, verse, where we go, I use my middle finger to do that tremolo brush, but if you're not able to do that, uh, although it's a wonderful effect and it's, it's worthwhile to practice it, but if you're not able to do it, you can go around it and play, for example. Simply going up to the chord, or a variation. Lightning really had a whole bag of tricks to do this kind of lick. Okay, then in the third verse, uh, just notice that I'm strumming down with the thumb. You can use the index also, but it's, it's a different uh, way of doing it. Uh, and notice that I'm really, I'm sort of playing a crescendo here. I start softly and playing harder so that the second string, the open string in the last triplet is also audible. Then when we go to the to the A section. Notice the, the accenting also. And then when we go to the it's really 
almost a ghost note, that 4th fret, 2nd uh, 5th string. There also. And there we have a variation of... And he simply did... So you can, well, you can uh, create different variations of that. L uh, listen to the recordings of Lighting, he did a lot of variations for this uh, kind of lick. And then finally, when we played uh, the whole verse, we have a sort of an end tag, and that's. Notice that the damping, so it's two triplets. This is the first, and then we're going down, let it hang in there, and then we're sliding up to the fourth fret on the third string, and the second string is played open very fast, almost in unison. run I only in the first video I did that uh, the first time I played it uh, in the, the song without the thumb pick because it's easier to do without a thumb pick it's picking the bass notes together with the thumb and the index so it's hard to show and I'm doing this because you get overtones if you do that, because you get... Although it's the same note, you hear the overtones, almost uh, harmonics. Okay, that's it. Have fun with it.